hey peter thanks for sending your video just awesome awesome job i mean improvements everywhere i wanted to see it five seconds is just a massive jump um so great job executing the coaching really really pumped about that still lots of uh things that we can continue to work on so let's go ahead and start digging into things right away so in a turn one look i know that we have this car in front of us and you know it it's hard to build comfort to drive at the limit when a car is that close. It's sort of a mix between it being a rabbit and also like, I don't want to go quite as deep because I don't want to, you know, get to the back of them, you know, things like that. But what I want to show you here is what that's causing us to do is it's causing us to coast into this turn one brake zone. So if you look at your throttle here, you're coming off the throttle and now we should start to see brake pressure now if that's where you want to brake, but instead we're off the throttle, off the throttle, off the throttle, coasting, 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 coasting. And now we start to brake, you know, at like five, six, seven car lengths or so, right? That's worth a big chunk of time. So even when we've got our car in front of us, I want you being full throttle to the brake zone. And hey, maybe that means we overtake the car in front of us as well, um, because you were clearly faster here and we had a monster run, but that's you know, easily worth a half second or so of lap time coasting to this brake zone. So be full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, braking here, braking, braking, braking. Nice job getting up to relative. Actually, yeah, this looks like peak brake pressure. Good, much better job getting up to peak brake pressure here in turn one earlier in the brake zone, starting to release off of it here. This looks really, really solid. So on your question, looks like fourth gear is the right gear for us here. Looking at 3,500 RPM, um, that's probably where we should be. Now, I know that there is still a good chunk of entry speed available by looking at this screenshot right here. So how do I know that? So what we were talking about before was delaying your initial throttle application to have a quicker ramp up. But if you're able to, to mostly do that, and if I back this up here, let's take a look at where you pick up initial throttle. So your initial throttle comes in here, pretty solid job. Great X, like great improvement. I really want to see that initial throttle come where that car in front of you is. So two car lengths or so later. And there's some things when driving a race car where you need to be a little bit less specific. Like some corners, if I miss the apex point by a little bit, eh, who cares? Uh, Road America doesn't have too many of those, but you know, there, there's uh, there's some racetracks like uh, Turn Seven at Sebring where if I miss it by a car with doesn't really end up costing me that much time. But there's some things where we need to be very, very like, inch perfect. And where we pick up initial throttle is one of those. So I think we want 80% of the way there. We have a chunk of time still left to go. So the next thing here is when I am talking about like at the being at the limit of the race car, we should not be able to be back to full throttle with this much steering input still in the car and we shouldn't be able to pick up full throttle at the apex point the car should be fighting you more here and and really this shows me that we're not at the limit of the car yet through turn one so what i'd like you to continue to work on here is i think you could be full throttle to where you got on the brakes and just start braking there to be able to roll a little bit more entry speed. So your trail brake technique looks really, really solid. Let's just work on working up that brake zone so we can roll a little bit more speed through the middle of the corner. And ideally here, you should be aggressively ramping up the throttle, but really only picking back up full throttle somewhere in this range. So the full throttle application of most corners should come after the apex point, but before you get out to the exit curve. So that's kind of the range where you sh like should be shooting for and continue to roll in more entry speed, roll in more entry speed, roll in more entry speed until you can no longer pick up the throttle where you want or get back to full throttle until the exit curve. And now what we're doing is sort of building uh, a, a constant so that we can work with the variable with entry speed, but not have two variables going at once, right? So if you're trying to, roll in more entry speed, but you don't know where you should be getting back to full throttle. Well, how do I know where too much entry speed is? And you start to increase risk. So this sort of reduces the risk by giving you a very systematic thing to work on. And it, it helps you roll in smaller amounts of additional entry speed, not accidentally rolling in 10 miles an hour more. And now you're in big trouble but by rolling in one or two miles an hour more because you've got something to focus on. So that's going to be the main goal in turn one. Great job using this exit curve. Turn three, Pretty solid job getting 
uh, reducing the coast time off the throttle to where you start to break. But another corner here where we can go a little bit deeper. So I want you breaking harder and a little bit later into turn three. I think we can get past this wall or down to the end of this wall before starting to break. So let's work on challenging this break zone just a little bit more here. Bam, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. This all looks pretty solid. What we're doing here is we're turning at the right point, but the rate of how quickly you turn in is too high. You're turning in too quickly, which is causing you to apex too quickly and what ends are too early. And that early apex point means you're, you're looking too much down the trees. And that's why where you pick up the throttle is great, but then you, you have to back out of it because you're like, oh crap, I'm going to run out of road. All because we've apexed a little bit early here, right? And the car in front of us, I think is a really, really solid indication. Look how when they get to the start of that curb, there are a lot of these arrows are huge. Let me do something else. They're going to be just that tick wider off this curb, right? Now, if I play this forward, let's see how close are we going to be to the start of that curve. Boom. See how like we're almost on that white line. And because of that, look at their car angle. They're looking more down the road. At the same moment, we're looking much straighter on. So that's what causes you to have to lift off the throttle right here. And that's why they get a monster jump on you all the way down to turn five. So turn three, we're going to work on breaking a little bit deeper. And I want to see you slow down your hands so that we can apex not at the start of the curb, but closer to where this cone is here. So like just before this cone, this is where I want you apexing. You'll have a car looking more down the road. That'll help you get back to full throttle right about here and, and roll in more entry speed through here as well. Turn five, like just awesome job. I, I think turn five is looking so, so solid. Great job here. Hard on the brakes. I think we could get up to peak brake pressure a little bit earlier here. I think you reduce a little bit too much as you crest over the hill. But this point's great. Where you end up is great. Your turning point's rock solid. You're off the brakes here. You're picking up the throttle exactly where I want to see you pick up the throttle. And that this is what I kind of want to see, right? If you're not back to full throttle at the apex point, look where you get back to full throttle right before you get out to the exit curve. So you're much closer to the limit here. That's what I want to see in your throttle trace through turn one, through turn three. And almost every, one, every corner is going to have a similar throttle trace to this. So really, really solid job through five. Into turn six, uh, car in front of you is driving really slow, which backs you up. But another corner I'd like to have with a clean lap, making sure that we're not coasting into this break zone right? You're only breaking, started to break here. I would much rather see you break earlier, but be full throttle to that brake zone. So to give you some indication in a GT3 car, I'm full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, and I'm starting my brake zone roughly in here. And that's a car with downforce and, and pretty sweet ABS. And yeah, okay, maybe I'm, I'm driving, I've got more speed out of the corner, but not that much. Like usually cars end up breaking a very similar spot. So I'd much rather see you break a little bit earlier, but be full throttle to that point. So full throttle up the hill, braking, 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 reducing off the brake pressure as the car comes over the crest of the hill here. I am getting super light on the brakes, off the brakes, good apex point, back to throttle, back to full throttle, let the car be free. Nice job. Um, turn seven, looking at where we are in the RPM and turn uh, in third gear. Yes, I do think we should short shift up to fourth gear, but then you short shift and you never get back to full throttle. Partial throttle, partial throttle, partial throttle, and then you have a long coast period. This is an intimidating corner. Uh, your line looks really solid through here. We just got to get a little bit more comfortable again. Once you get up to fourth, back to full throttle. As you start to get ready to turn in, coasting, feed the throttle back in, back to full throttle. Your exit's great, but once again, how we talked about, like, how do I know you're overslowing the car? Look where we get back to, like, you're, you're back to full throttle and you're still on the exit curve, on the apex curve, sorry, right? So the, the main note here is once you shift up to fourth, continue to get back to full throttle for a little bit longer and slowly work up to more entry speed. Your line looks great. You're in the right gear. There's just more on the table for us. Uh, and that obviously helps us on the rundown of turn eight. Turn eight, we can definitely break a little bit deeper here. You know, and a lot of cars, I don't think you're going to work down to the 200 board. But can we get inside the 300 board? I think so. So we're getting here. We never get up to, to peak G's here. So I think we can break 
harder into turn eight. So let's work on a harder break application, harder break application, harder break application. Now start to release, 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 release. Lines really solid. Where you come off the trail break is really, really solid. Your where you pick up the throttle is freaking perfect. This all looks great. Um, exit's on point. Really happy with the exit. Let's just challenge that brake zone a little bit more in turn eight. So into the carousel, I want to see you turn in here and get down to the grass roughly about here. We could drive it in harder. Carousel is a really intimidating entry speed spot, right? So what I'd like to see you slowly work on here is try to carry full throttle a bit more and get down to the grass a little bit earlier. So you, what you can see here is it's, it's, it's really hard to explain, but you start your turning point and then you sort of stop and it's almost like you drive straight here and then all of a sudden you turn really aggressively here. So I kind of have a more constant arc down to that grass so I'm turning in more, I'm turning in more, I'm turning in more, I'm turning in more. I'm down to the grass right now. I've driven in harder, so I'm down to the grass. But then right here, the car starts to understeer wide, understeer wide, understeer wide, and end up to where you are here. But because I've driven it in harder, I'm not on uh, maintenance throttle all the way through here. So see how like this entire time, you're picking up the throttle way back in here. Ideally, if I play this full speed, you know, I'm full, 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 full release scene. And I'll coasting, 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 feed it back in, feed it back in, feed it back in, feed it back in, full throttle. So I'm spending a lot less time on throttle. And even my minimum speed through the middle of the corner might be a little bit lower than yours, but I drove it a deep run full throttle and I'm back to full throttle earlier. I want to see you back to full throttle at this curb, somewhere before the end of this painted red and yellow curb. That's where I want to see you back to full throttle using every road on the exit. The kink, much better job on the turning point. We're still turning just a little bit too quickly. So good job challenging this brake zone. This all looks really solid. I just want to see you slow your hands down. What I want to show you here is, once again, great indication. Look how this car in front of you is just a little bit wide of the start of this curve. They're not apex in the start of the curve. They're apex in about a half car length, car, just a half car length later. You're coming in an apex in the start of this curve, which has the car just pointed for me just a little bit too straight on. I want to see you just a little bit, just a tick more to the right, because as you work on rolling more entry speed in here, you're going to start to run out of road, run out of road, and you're already sort of testing it a little bit. So just like turn three, slow your hands down, and that'll help you turn at the same point, but apex is that half car length later. Um, Canada corner, great job. What I like is I think you're the, the closest to the limit of the car in Canada corner. I hear those tires squirreling, Good attack of the brake zone here. I don't want you to change a thing through Canada Corner. I think this looks great. Good entry speed. Boom. Great trail brake. Good throttle trace. Look at that. Boom. Back to full throttle right as you get out to the exit curve. What I want to see. So into Billy Mitchell, start to turn in already here. You're, you're, you're holding it wide too long. Slowly start to turn in. Slowly start to turn in. And I am alongside the curbing already. So I'm turning a little earlier, a little slower. And then into Billy Mitchell... I would like to see you similar to turn seven. So that we shift up to fourth gear and then we never get back to full throttle, partial throttle, partial throttle, partial throttle. Then we lift and then we're back to throttle here and then back to full throttle here already, right? So here's a great opportunity to continue to work on the same note as turn seven, shift up to fourth, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, release, coast, 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 feed it back in, feed it back in, feed it back in, full throttle, right? And then into turn 14, you, you a little bit too aggressive working it back to the left side of the road. Let it just kind of smoothly come back to the left. I'm breaking in a I'm breaking in a straighter line. I'm kind of breaking in a straighter line towards the outside of the racetrack, which how lets my hands be a little bit straighter. We could definitely break deeper in here. So I want you trying to be full throttle past that sign bridge, then braking. And then we just need to continue to brake lighter, super light on the brakes, super light on the brakes, super light on the brakes coming off. Your exit's great. Boom. Pick up the throttle exactly where I want to see you. Back to full throttle here. Let the car be free though. 
I want you, I want your left side tires on the other side of this curb, way out over here. What I can show you, if I back this up a little bit, let's see, where was that? So we're starting to feed the throttle in. You're getting back. All of a sudden it pauses. You reduce off the throttle because you're like, oh crap, we're out of road. And then you get back to it. That little reduction, two tenths of a second there like that. But you didn't need it because you had the road. If you had just used more road, you wouldn't have hesitated. You would have been back to full throttle that car length earlier and got that run on the front straight away. So just use more road out of 14, break deeper and lighter into 14. Lots of entry speed we can continue to carry on. So major notes are, no coasting in the brake zone. Stay full throttle until you brake, even if that means you're braking earlier. Turn one, turn six. Slowing our hands down in turn three and uh, really focused on trying to get back to full throttle into seven and, uh, sorry, getting back to full throttle when we shifted the fourth gear into seven and into Billy Mitchell. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, man, can't wait to see more seconds.